Welcome to Farming Simulator 19 on PS4 with me, Schaefer D. We are on Sussex Farms, episode 4. In this episode, we will be working the field. So, we are on episode 4 now. I've done a few jobs, as you can see, we got a lot of money in. It's going good. So now, uh, not here. I'm gonna take this to town because we're gonna buy our two spreaders, a manure spreader and a lime spreader to get the jobs done. I'm gonna attempt something I've never done before. Hopefully this will work. So, in this episode, our target will be to see, let's switch on our beacons, let's see if we can do the precision farming by applying lime and manure on our fields. I'll have to take the tractor and go fetch a load of manure, because we don't have manure on hand, so we'll have to buy. So once we get that going, I'll have to get two spreaders. The reason for that being is I want to keep manure in the one and lime in the other one. So we've got enough lime on hand, we've got a full trailer on our shelves. So let's see if we can get the manure in there then we can start I also want to see if I can purchase field number 8 I think it's number 8 once harvesting times or time comes then we'll make money off those fields I think field 8 I've planted for our neighbor I'm, I'm almost certain we planted barley on there Let's get this vehicle to pass. Hopefully this vehicle will give us enough room to go through. No. Road rage. So we'll see now which two vehicles we're going to purchase. At least we are getting money off our contracts. As you can see there's another 20 grand coming in. And a, a heap more. I'm pushing the contracts so that we can see if we can get enough money in to buy another piece of land so yeah now I'm gonna park this here because I need to get this lined up I'm gonna attempt don't think it's gonna work if it doesn't work I'll come and fetch the other one but let's see what spreaders we can get. So, let's go to fertilizer technology. I need, I don't think that one the last time I've had issues with. I think I'm gonna go for this Hercules. Get two of them, they can do a manure and lime. I've never had problems with them. Let's make them 13k capacity. Yeah, it's not too bad. We buy two of these. Okay, I don't want to lease them because we'll be using them quite often. Plane is so noisy. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work, but a lot of farmers take chances, they don't have money to buy the correct trailers. So we see if we can join the club. I'm 
I'm going to push this over the bar a little bit. Hopefully the trailer won't tip now. I'm going to park this one like that. Hopefully the trailer won't tip once I pull off. No. It's good to go. Let's see if we can get this one up there. I'll be very happy if we can. Then we can go set up the manure phase. I'll drive there to show you how the manure gets loaded. Okay, if I can just back this up enough. Just like that. Hopefully this will work. I'm not too sure. I've never tried it before. Trailer's a bit small, but we're trying. Straps down, ramps up. Don't tell me the ramps will cause a problem. No, the ramps is fine there. It's catching a little bit. So I'll just take it slow back to the farm. Beacons on. We loaded and ready to go. Hopefully the front trailer here won't fall off. Or the front spreader. But I see it's hanging on a nerve there. Okay, let me drive. The only problem is I can't see the load when I drive like that. Let me take the camera out a bit. Let's slow it down. Carefully go through here. Yeah. Oh, that one spreader looks like it wants to climb off, but that's alright. We're almost at the farm, so... We'll just do what we do. Hopefully it won't fall off the trailer. This is another step towards doing what we do. No. Oh, I really need to download the anti or the new camera setup. <sighs> so much to do. I'm gonna drive in cab. That spreader looks like it's on there properly, so. Is it still on there? <laughs> Still coming along for the ride. Let's go through here. Once I can get it to our farm, I'll be so happy. Then we can start the process of liming, fertilizing, manure applications. Okay, so. I'm going to offload them right here. The trailer is a little bit wobbly, which I can understand. Just gonna pull this one. In here. For now. We'll come and fill that up just now. I just need to go get a trailer load of manure quickly to set us up for what's coming. Then I need to lower that weight. Drop that off. No, don't drive over it. Don't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take. I think I need to use the tractor. I'm just scared 
that it might be what's happening now. Oh, this is not the fiat or the fend, sorry. Okay, the fend is out on the field completing a job. So, we'll come and take that one off now. Let's rush over quickly, get ourselves some manure there, so that we can get cracking. Okay, so we're off to buy a trailer load of manure. Once we get the animals, the cows going, then we can potentially get manure from them. Or not potentially, we will get manure from them. Then we can use that manure to spray our fields, the slurry to use on the fields. So, happy days. Then we don't have to purchase any anymore. We've purchased these. I want to do the liming, all the precision farming quickly. Once we've done that, then we'll be good for our season coming up. So, I'm sure we'll make a good portion of money. Let's get in here happy days I really need to wash my equipment I filled them up with diesel I've sent them in for servicing ok so as you can see I'm going to go to third person so that you can all see you purchase your manure here. There's the trigger on the floor. So, yeah, we need to climb out. Come to this display unit. Switch it on. Get back in the tractor. Fill up with manure. Obviously, we are purchasing the manure now. We don't have a choice. We don't have manure on hand. is full for 660 bucks not too bad for a good start let's get the tractor back to the yard then we can start with the process I've already done the soil samples in the previous episode I think I did the precision farming or the Soil samples in episode 2 or 3. We'll have a look. So, we can now apply the lime, apply the manure, get the seeds in the ground, and then we can carry on with other things, with animals, until this is ready to go. I also really need to buy field 8. I really do need field 8. It will be so nice to own field 8. We're not doing too bad. It's going a bit slow now. Ooh. Wrong driveway. I do apologize to you, sir. Okay, field one finished. We'll go there just now. I just need to see, can we offload this here? No. This needs to go into our silo. Which is here. So I'm going to get the spreader quickly, fill it up here, fill up the lime, do the liming, then we can get that done. I'm going to quickly pop into third person view here. I think let me park the 
this trailer next to oh the planter is in the forgot about the planter I also going forward want to upgrade the planter because the planter is a bit too narrow for my liking okay let's offload this quickly fill it with lime I'll go fix up the Alpa J the our other tract on the other field I'll go fetch that once we're done with this I just want to show everyone how precision farming works with the lime and manure setup okay so we pull in here it should tell us full start filling there we go lime Yes, please. Not too sure when you climb back out. Oh no, it does continue on its own. So you can fill your lime, yeah? I'm going to fill it up completely. We've taken a 13,000 litre. So that we can start with our fields. Because as you can look at the calendar today, we can do soybeans or corn. I'm just going to do soybeans off screen. As you look at my bunker silo, you can see in the distance I've got some silage going on it. Okay, this is full. Once that silage is ready, we'll sell it to the BGA make a little bit more money out of it wherever we can make money we do it I'll come and park the trailer just now ok so let's get this liming going ok it's on if you hold in your L1 you'll see there's deactivate automatic application rate I leave mine on Okay, as we pull up to the field, you'll see on a minimap, let me reverse back again, if you watch the minimap, I'll call him me now, he doesn't want to do it, okay, it's because we already pulled up on it, once I start liming, as per the soil type, the application rate will keep changing on its own once I hit this okay you'll see if you look at the help control screen you will see pH value lime application there's a checkered flag on the bar and a left line of a red line to the left of the checkered flag so what's happening is between the red line and the checkered flag that is the required pH that the soil needs so what this spreader is doing now, it's putting down the correct application rate. It's not putting too much in. It's just the correct application for this field. Don't know why that just stopped on its own. We'll go there. Now, if you look at our minimap, you'll see the color of the field is changing as this is spreading. You'll see it goes to a green, a solid green. It means that the correct application is applied now should it happen that you deactivate or you lime twice okay if you lime twice it won't accept the lime the second time it will just drive over it without applying any application but should it happen that you deactivate the automatic application rate and you put down too much lime your red line will go to the right of the checkered flag to say that you've over applied to get that right I will demonstrate going forward on one of the fields I just need more money at the moment because I don't want to over lime this and spend too much money at the moment yes I do know a lot of people will say why don't you why are you using the helper to buy the lime instead of just using the lime that's in the trailer 
I will explain why I do that a little bit later. I'm not going to do that now. So as you can see on the minimap, your pH value, the Lime application, is looking very good. Because you, on your minimap, your fill turns to a solid green color. Okay, let me just get this lined up quickly. Stopping for I don't know what reason. There we go again. I just press the R helper again. It should run straight through the field now. Okay, so that is that for Lime application. Okay, let's get this turned around. Head to our other field, get the Lime applied there straight off the bat. I will come and apply the manure quickly before time runs out. Hopefully our time won't run out. Then we can get our seed in here. Now, I'm going to explain now why I do it the way that I'm doing it. Okay, if you look at the bottom of your minimap, you'll see again that it changes color. In the health control menu, it will state that you are on salty clay. They change to loam. As you can see, increasing pH optimal value for loam. Once you go into another soil type, this it will change on the screen and it will also show you that your application rate is also changing. At the moment we're applying 6.13 tons per hectare. Let me do this one automatic. So as you can see there's obstructions here. Okay, that's done. Ah, oh, the spacing is not right. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. So, I'm going to explain why I do it the way I do it. I apply my lime first to get my pH value application right. After my lime application, I do manure application. Because that is an organic fertilizer. So then I plant my seeds. Then after that, I apply my mineral fertilizer. The reason why I'm doing that is... Sometimes you'll find that you put a seed down, for example, how can I put this to you? Soya bean, which is very rich in nitrogen. So if I want to plant soya bean here, I need to ensure that once I start planting the bean, I'll put down lime, plant the bean, then I'll apply the manure. After the manure, I will put down the fertilizer. A lot of people will say, but manure is a fertilizer. I know it's an organic fertilizer. I put down in such a sequence that I've got organic and mineral fertilizer on the field so that I know my fields are happy my nitrogen levels are, is the way I want it and it helps me with better yields I'm gonna pull this one in here to spray that part quickly I know it's gonna stop and go a lot now I'll do it manually if it does stop should start detecting boundaries like the trees and stuff once it gets close to the end here as you can see field 5 looks great with the pH value application oh, it's going right through that's a bonus ok let's go get our I think 
I might be planting the soybean then, doing the manure, then the fertilizer phase. Well, apply. Oh, this tractor doesn't have a parking place, so what I will do is just park it here for now. If I can learn how to drive, I just need to keep an eye on the time for recording. I'm really trying, sorry if it sounds like I'm rushing this, I'm not. I'm trying to get everything done before the recording ends. There's certain parts I'm sure I will edit to make everything fit, but it's not always easy. Okay, so let's fill this up with manure. Sign applies here, pull it over the trigger, come over here. We switch on the display, get back in the tractor, fill it up. Now let's hope I haven't done the soya beans with seasons on and precision farming after the soya bean precision farming update. There was an update, there was a little bit of a problem with the soya beans turning your soil samples into black huge dots. Hopefully that's fixed now. So, if you look at your field now, it's red, it's very red. It's because it's got a huge lack of nitrogen. So, let's apply this. Uh, came in a little bit too short on the end. Okay, let's get this done. As you can see, the field now should turn to an orange yellow color. That's because it won't turn to a green now. Because this is your first phase of your fertilizer application, your nitrogen application. So that's why I do lime, then I do manure, then lastly, the last phase, I do my normal fertilizer spreading let me have a look at the time quickly to see if we can push this in here we should be able to to push the planting everything in it's going good Let's see that contract while this is happening. Okay, that one is done. So the next one, ooh, sewing. I've got field 35, field 20, and 10. 10, 20, 35. Okay, I'll work that out now to see which one I'll attend to first. Because I also need the planter first to plant, yeah? I really need to get my equipment washed. I like these spreaders because the spreading angle on them is not too bad. Yes, they is wider than this. Um, but this one works for me at the moment. We'll be going later on once we start making good money we'll be going for the air drills and all the fancy equipment and now in our mini map you'll see it's turning to a very orange color mm -hmm. so not a very orange color my wording today is not up to par once we go over that with a normal fertilizer, it should turn green. I'm not sure with the soya beans. I haven't tried the soya beans because before the update we had problems like I just said. I'm hoping that there won't be problems. I'm going to plant both of these field soya beans because I need the money 
to kickstart everything we want to do on the farm. After that, we can start putting crops in for animals. Because I really need to go for I really need to go for the animal section now. The next episode, I'm hundred percent certain we'll be getting sheep in here and we'll be getting chickens in. Once we've got that behind us, then we'll be good to go. Now if you look at your minimap again, the field is red, it's turning orange. It will have a darker and a lighter orange on the field as we apply this. The reason for that is, let me do this manually. The reason for that being is the different soil types that you pass through. That's why it's got an orange and a little bit darker orange and a little bit lighter orange. That's why that shows up you'll see now on the minimap it does apply the correct application rate but it needs two types of fertilizer you can put down a slurry as a fertilizer and normal solid or liquid fertilizer as your two phases or you can just go with like I'm doing your manure first and then your solid or liquid fertilizer as your second phase with seasons on and precision farming yes it does make it a little bit difficult but that's what farming is all about I really need to get this done quickly once this is done then we can plant the soya beans quickly then behind the scenes I'll do the contracts make sure the contracts are all done so we can get more money in I do want to upgrade our planter I seriously need to upgrade the reason being for that is when I did all the contracts off screen the sewing contracts it was so difficult it took me three and a half hours to get all the contracts finished up with the small planter that we have at the moment if I can get at least 12 meter plant or 12.9 or something, I'll be happy. So this is almost done. As you can see, it won't apply a second layer. I'll show you now. How did we miss that little spot there? Hmm. I'll use that spot as an example to show you quickly that it won't apply a second phase of manure directly after the other one. Okay, I'm going to put it in here and turn on the worker. You'll see it's already completed its task even if you switch it on manually it will spray but nothing will go out of your trailer and nothing on the field will change you'll see it stays on 11,928 liters unless you eat a spot like that that hasn't been manured too so manure is done now let's get the planter in here quickly so you've seen it as I try to apply second phase of manure onto the field that's being manure or that was manured already it won't accept it it will only accept once you see I'll show you how that works if you run over your field it will say nitrogen perfect pH value perfect once it does that 
or once it starts lowering and it shows that it's good or bad or then you can go and apply another application rate until then you can't apply now I want to show you what I mean with this planter it took me forever to plant on the contract jobs for our neighbor farmers let's unfold this change it to soybeans I'm hoping that the nitrogen level won't be too high once we get in here okay setting it off with a worker I need to buy more seeds I'm aware of that as you can see it's only three meters it takes forever for the worker to run through this let's pop out here quickly let me show you here. the nitrogen perfect the pH value perfect but what I will still do is I will still run the fertilizer spreader over here or I might not I'll, I'll see how it goes should be fine for now change perfect all the way through let's see what our moisture level is like 7% moist groundwater moisture 0% growth so it's not too bad it's looking good right throughout this field it's showing pH is perfect nitrogen level is perfect so I'm happy with that so as you can see it's planting small strips of the field it takes forever what, I'm, what I will be doing is I will be looking at the value of the current plow we're using. It's 18 grand. Once I repair it, it should go to 19 grand. Then I'm going to need another 20, 29 grand on top of the money that we've got to buy a decent planter. For now, this one will work should help us a lot going forward for now I'll, I might get the other planter later on the only thing that I fear using this planter is the contract jobs so I think this is the end of this episode I'll get everything planted and I will get the contract jobs done so if you found the content of this video useful please do give it a like if you feel like sharing this video please do so also please do subscribe i will really appreciate it thanks for watching